Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Ryan. Uh, I'm just coming to you today to share an encouraging word about prayer and to just share a revelation that I've had recently. And that revelation comes from Psalm 119, 105. It's a popular verse. I'm sure you guys have heard it. We sing songs about it. You might even have it on your Bible case. But that verse says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And when I first read this, I was thinking like, God, why is your word just a lamp? Because that lamp it's talking about, it's not talking about the floor lamp that you have in your living room right now. It's back then when David wrote this, the lamp was like that little tiny thing that the genie came out of in Aladdin. Okay, so it's like barely brighter than a candle. So I'm like, God, why is your word just barely brighter than a candle? You're the creator of the universe. You're the almighty God. Like, why is your word not a big honking spotlight under my path that I can see 20 years down the future? And I felt the Spirit of the Lord say to me, because if my word is barely bigger than a candle, you're going to have to get close to it. You're going to have to get close to God to hear his word, to see where the right path is for your life. Because God knows you. He knows me. I know if I can, like, hey God, so in 20 years I need to go left and then right and then another left and then another left and another right. And okay, I'll check in in 20 years. But that's not what God wants. He wants to walk with us every day. In Genesis, when he created Adam and Eve, it says he walked with them every day in the garden, communing with them. So that's why his word has to be just a barely bigger than a candle so we can walk closely with him. And you might be thinking, I know, I was thinking like, God, you're the Alpha and the Omega. You know, the hairs on my head, which a lot of people, that's not hard to count the hairs on my head. But some of us have a lot of hair and God knows the number of the hairs on your head. So why does he need to hear all these little things that, my man, God, I don't, I don't want to bother him with that, right? But that's what God wants. He says, if you can lay down your pride and give these things to me, I can help you with them. So if you just take, just a, even start with a few minutes every day on your way into work, maybe, and you're thinking, oh God, there's that person that every time I see them, I can't help but respond in the natural. So help me, God. Help me see them as you see them with love. Help me treat them the way you treat them with mercy. And I promise you, if you do that, just lay their pride down a little bit. Walk with him. Let his word be a light under your path. I promise you, you're going to see results. You're going to hear from God. You're going to be closer to him. And it's going to make a great difference in your life. So I love you guys. I speak blessing over you. And as my main man, Pastor Justin says, go give him Jesus.